Hello everybody, today we're going to make onion rings. Come on into my kitchen and let's cook. Hello folks, okay, we're going to start off for these onion rings. We want to have either yellow onions or like a Vidalia onion. They're a little bit tastier than a white onion or a red onion. You can make them out of white onions or red onions. What I do is I cut both, both ends off and I want to take the first layer off. Oops, I went too far there. Take the first layer off because that's tough. You take the peeling off plus the first layer. The bigger the onion the better. You want to have one that's thick this way because some of them, especially the Vidalias, are great onions but they're smashed down so you want to get the ones that are thicker. Take that off there. Sometimes it can be a little tough. Now what we're going to do, we're going to cut these oh, about three, not, not quite a half inch, just under a half an inch. Cut those down. Promise not to cut the fingers off folks. Be very careful. Have a sharp knife. Now we're going to take these, we're going to separate them. I know somebody does just take a whole slice, but uh, a little bit of hardcore that will give that to the give that to the critters. I live out in semi-rural. That's Northern Illinois University in DeKalb is where, where I'm located. Um, there are a lot of critters out here. Some people call them students, just kidding there. Um, now we have, I have deer galloping through my backyard. I have uh, a lot of possums. Um, those black kitty cats with the white stripe down the back. I wish my neighbor would keep his locked up. Sorry Roger, had to talk about your skunk. <laughs> But no, we have foxes, everything running out here, and uh, they eat these scraps. I can throw something out here, it's gone within a couple days, usually the first night. The critters grab it. They need to eat too. And there's nothing wrong with possum. People persecute them, they're ugly looking, but uh, they're clean. They don't have rabies, they clean everything up. They're God's creation. Now, what we want to do, these you have to put in flour. Just dust them a little bit. I want to do a few of them here. I'm not going to do the whole pile. Just dust them. Some people double dip them. I don't. I also do this with uh, cornstarch and water with a little bit of salt and pepper in it. That does an excellent, excellent uh, onion ring as well. But for today, we're using the uh, pancake mix. I think that's there is enough for right now. We're going to take these, throw them in the batter. Make sure they're coated real good. Make sure the grease is 375. I didn't have it hot enough for the, uh, for the other. I got a little rambunctious, a little nervous making these videos. Like I say, I'm new to making these videos. So, got it coated, dump it right into the grease. Throw it in there, flip it over. Oops, made a mess there. It's so easy to make these. Like I say, it's just, uh, yeah, I use kitchen forks for a lot of things. in there browning up really good. Now while they're doing that I think I'll make I think I'll probably just do the rest of these. Get them coated. This is a uh, pancake mix that I'm using here. Just tuck it, put it in the thing and then just uh, put the put the onions into the uh, wet mix. But this is dry pancake mix right here. Put these over here almost done. A 
Look at that, folks. Look at that. Those are done. Get me a paper towel here to put them on. My other rack over there is kind of full. The grease is getting kind of dirty, getting black specks on there from the previous stuff. Now those are some good onion rings. Take these other here. And you can put cayenne pepper in this batter mix if you want. Um, that's really good with uh, chicken. Chicken with a nice hot crust on it. I like that. We used to have a place that we went to when I was living in Tennessee for a while. My family, my wife and I were down there. Um, a place called Bojangles. This is not an endorsement for them. I've been, I used to love their chicken. And uh, I came home and I can I grab a lot of recipes because I've been cooking for so long. I can taste this and that. And I would copy their recipes. Did it to a lot of different places. And Kentucky Fried Chicken, you want their recipe, you want their recipe, you can buy their, their mix online. There's nothing secret about it. Don't waste your time trying to copy it. Look up who makes it. That's uh, I can't think of the name of the place, but it's a place down in Indiana. They make all the seasoning for Kentucky Fried. Boy, these look good. I can't wait to eat them. But that's all you have to do. Ooh, that one separated there. Throw them in the grease. Make sure, like I can say, make sure it's 375 degrees. I'll chop these up and use these for salsa. My wife loves salsa. She's from South America. And I make a lot of a lot of hot South American foods for. Actually, South American food is not really hot. It's uh, got a lot of flavor to it. Um, depends on which Spanish country you go to. Some of them have really spicy food, like Mexico. They have. Uh, oh, I eat that. Mexico has uh, have pepper and everything, chili and everything. Let me go off the camera here for something. Chilies and everything. In my wife's country, it's mostly savory spices. And then they add the uh, hot chili and stuff afterwards. They add it. So when you first, when you when you get the food, it's very flavorful, but it's not hot and spicy. Delicious. But that's that's a story for another time. Okay, take these out. There you have it, folks. Fried onion rings made from pancake batter. If you want to add more pepper to it, you can add more pepper to your batter. But that's the basics of it. Not everything you get from the food bank is as bad as it looks. You just have to know how to take it and work with it. Change it, add spices to it. You can't take anything out of it, remember that. But if you learn to add different spices in, go over, like I say, go over to, your, go over to the store and buy some dollar spices. Buy some uh, garlic powder, onion powder, um, oregano, uh, sweet basil, paprika, thyme, rosemary. Buy those and then also buy a bottle of uh, Italian seasoning. That'll get you through a lot of things where you don't have to start adding all the other things. Sometimes you can just take the Italian seasoning, pour it in, that's it. It's done. So, anyway, folks. That's it for today. You have a blessed evening. Christ be with you always.